Welcome to our second edition of Tech Equity Talks. Today's workplace thrive on diversity, equity, and inclusion. We will be delving into how we can achieve this by empowering women, managing stress, and guiding people of the younger generation to thrive and achieve success. Tech Equity Talks is on a mission to inspire the world of technology, to respect intersectionality in all its forms, and have conversations with guests who share their personal experiences to inspire and guide other, others to cultivate a sense of inclusion and belonging in the workplace. I'm Francesca, the founder of Tech Equity Talks, and I'm joined by Tanya from Deutsche Telekom, who I'd love for you to introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes, hello, thank you. Thank you for having me, Francesca. <laughs> I am Tanya. I'm now for over 12 years with the Deutsche Telekom IT. Um, at the moment, I'm working as a uh, DevOps engineer for about four years in my company. And my team has uh, transformed and changed a lot in terms of assignment and the people within, and I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, I had various occupancies in various constellations, like leading a team technically, or being integrated in a team. And we have a, a good environment here in diversity. Everybody is accepted. But after all, you just have to look at the figures. There are only about 20% women in Deutsche Telekom IT, which is, in my opinion, not that much. <laughs> Could be higher. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So I thought I'd kickstart this conversation by asking you, what do you feel truly makes a collaborative, inclusive and diverse working environment? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, um, there are two frames that you are working in, two main factors that give you the frame you are working in. And the first one I would like to talk about is the main frame. It's like your company culture is perceiving. So for example, how are you working with your colleagues? Um, what is done with errors? Is it a culture of blaming or trying to keep errors low instead of mm -hmm. learning from them? It's, it's the culture, it's the mainframe you're, uh, you're working with. And the second one is um, your direct colleagues you work with. I experienced it as a very helpful and friendly environment. Everybody cares about each other and everybody embraces the unique aspect or little flaws everybody has. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. for example, I am no morning person. No meetings before <laughs> 9 a.m. in the morning would be great for me. <laughs> How many coffees do you need before that 9 a.m. meeting? <laughs> uh, oh, only one, but uh, if I don't have that one coffee, it's it's really not possible to, <laughs> to work with me, yeah, to be honest. <laughs> okay. And if you have that environment, um, you have to maintain it. And that is easily forgotten. You have to deal with it. So uh, if breaches go against a good environment, as a, for example, um, I have experienced this myself. Um, somebody is making inappropriate jokes about women or homosexuality. Um, this is a no-go and you have to speak of it and highlight it. That is something that we or the group, we do not want here so that you keep your environment in a good and healthy perspective. Yeah. yeah. I think touching back to your earlier point as well, everyone is different. I think it's important that within a workplace, everyone should be allowed to be their true, authentic self. Um, cool. Well, moving on to my next question then, how do you think we can inspire and educate women embarking on their career in technology? Mm -hmm. Well, um, first I would say, don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, in Germany, there is a saying, we have um, alle kochen nur mit Wasser, so in, translated like all are cooking only with water. Mm -hmm. So IT is such a complex environment. Uh, you have to work in so many fields. There is, in my side, telecommunication. You can do clothing, transport, or even armed forces. 
uh, need technology these days. So, but by using the technology or entering a scene where you have to deal with goods that are not usually material, you deal with data, figures, abstract data, something you cannot touch. And everybody has their own way to approach problems about handling this stuff. So it is a factor that uh, to have as many views or experiences in life so that you have an idea how to solve problems or deal with the challenges that come with it. Brilliant. And how would you promote a stress-free working environment? And what strategies have you employed to let go of your stresses to be able to maintain productivity and your well-being? Mm -hmm. I have a, a few points of that. Um, first of all, um, don't be everybody's darling. So in my experience, a lot is coming down on you. Um, colleagues trying to shift work to you that is not yours, for example. Um, especially work in an environment that is not toxic, like you are welcomed. You are appreciated the way you are and that you are here. Um, you don't have to endure work. That is, in my opinion, the wrong view to do this. So your work has to be appreciated and is not done by just simple saying thank you from your boss, for example. So, and also do sports, <laughs> moving your body, invest in moving your body. Um, in our world today, most activities are very low on physical movement. So the home office, you just get off your bed and to your desk, walk only a few meters. So um, challenge yourself, try new things out. I'm a big fan of CrossFit. Reward uh, for CrossFit is uh, you get your brains free and afterwards the only thing you need to care about is uh, how, how you can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> and how to walk home afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's sometimes true. <laughs> Okay, brilliant. Um, so it is Stress Awareness Month as well, um, this April. What, out of all of those tips, what would you say the most important tip to managing stress would be? Okay, okay. Um, I would say a top factor of this is the balance between your comfort zone, so yet yeah, that you can come out of your comfort zone, but be aware of your own worth as well. So don't let anybody else cross your boundaries. If your boundaries are set and somebody's stressing you to get over those boundaries, that's not the right way to do it. Um, it's more about doing this by yourself, if you want to. If you want to go out of your comfort zone, it is okay, it will be okay. But if somebody else is pushing you, it's a red flag and you should really think about it and yeah how how stressful it is for you and if you really want to go this way thank you now my final question um as i think there's lots of support that can be done to help people of the younger generation as well as women and people of all intersectionalities to get into roles in technology how would you advise the younger generation women as i as we've briefly touched upon and people of all intersectionalities to thrive and be successful in their first technology role? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I would advise uh, the young generation, do not wait for something to happen. So when I prepared for this interview, I had to uh, look at, my, at a rating from my first years in IT and I, I reread it and um, I was raised, I think, more with the thinking of not being too loud. Be patient, wait for your turn. That might be useful in, in some situations, yes, but not if you want something. If you want to be successful and have an influence, you go there. You are bold, you try new things out, you will make mistakes, but Ultimately, you have learned something and this can be used in the future. So this is much better than waiting for the good things that will come your way. Brilliant. 
Thank you so much, Tanya, for joining me and Equity Talks to address these important subject matters and help continue raising awareness in the world of technology. If you are watching this and would like to know more about diverse and inclusive hiring strategies or want to join me in a guest, as a guest in a future conversation, then please reach out to me via LinkedIn and be sure to follow at Equity Talks. Let's embrace diversity, champion equity, nurture belonging and respect intersectionality in all its forms. Thanks, folks.